Peace, love, and light. This is Sister Toffee, creator of KMSC Dot Online, where we talk about the divine nature within your spirit. If you've never been to this channel, thank you for visiting. If you like the content before the video ends, like by hitting that thumbs up button, share by hitting the share button and button and adding your friends or family members email. And if you want to hear about the next video, you want to get it in your feed. Just click that little bell icon, and then it's going to have an all option there. Select all, and you'll be able to find out when I'm going to upload again. Okay? So, this message is for the Divine Feminine. Uh, I'd like for you to please watch the first video. It's a precursor to this one. Uh, we're talking about the Divine Nature within you, and how we need to cultivate the Divine Feminine aspects of ourselves because we have not been taught what our true divine nature is really basically divine true feminine nature is a mothering energy it's a very loving but it's a healthy loving it's not a self-sacrificing loving energy that a lot of uh, women have had the addiction of becoming for many many years because it's just been a part of our template um, but I want you to know that your pride in life as you become an older woman will become your children, not your husband. So those of you that love your, your, your husband or your man, that's great, or your partner. Um, but understand that people get older, and if you, even if you do have a love and your love stays for the rest of your life, your next allies are going to be your children. And I want you guys to take stock of what you have. A lot of women don't understand how valuable their children are. Uh, and so I want you to understand that as you get older, you become less significant in people's lives. And if you have children, most of the time, the investment you put in your children will not return to you void. And so uh, besides God, I see your children as your best friends because your man, your husband, your partner, they have to work. If, if you are... The feminine in the relationship, they're more than likely working more than you unless they, you know, are living off of uh, some type of family arrangement that was already, you know, financially secured before you met. And if that's the case, well, you're lucky. But if not, and you have a divine masculine that is working all the time, you have to understand that you cannot control your divine masculine. You're not going to have any happiness trying to spend time with your divine masculine like he's your girlfriend buddy that's not going to help you you're going to have to empower the divine feminine energy it's an energy of a mothering energy it's an energy of the high priestess it's the energy uh, if you know anything about tarot of all of the queens put together so it's time to level up stop being emotionally imbalanced and childish and uh, i'm going to see what the divine has to say because uh, i just did a video on the divine masculine if you're interested you can look at that uh, you can share it with your man if you think it might be helpful for them or your son or your nephew or some young male or some male in your life you think might benefit from it. You can share that video with him. Uh, my job here as a channeler and a seer is to allow the divine to use me as a conduit to give messages to change the lives of people uh, through the knowledge and information that comes through me, the downloads, okay, that my spirit guides, angels, ancestors, and they send the master's. Uh, bring through me using ancient Egyptian science. So right now we're not using ancient Egyptian science, but we're going to be using the basic Rider Waite tarot deck. For those of you who don't know what this is, it's like the classic deck that everybody uses. Uh, and then we're going to use, a, <laughs> I've got a stack of cards here. I'll have them all in the description box, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I have the High Priestess card out here right now because the High Priestess card re reflects the hidden So we're going to ask the divine, what is it we need to know about the divine feminine? Where are we not embodying the mothering energy? Because basically the mothering energy can help us mother uh, other people, our children, and ourselves. So it's really beneficial for everyone. This is not the toxic Atlanta housewife energy. This is the divine feminine energy. This is the energy of the mother that can talk to God, pray to God, talk to spirit, and come up with a solution. And even in diff difficult times, 
she can embody a, a, a very pliable, flexible energy and allow what is to be. Okay? So it's a very passive but wise energy, and it's a very calculative energy, but it's not in the way where it, uh, it's, a, it's about seeking its own. It seeks the, uh, the benefit of everyone. Okay, we're talking about the divine feminine energy, the mother energy, okay? Just like Mother Earth provides everything we need to eat, you know, resources to build things, everything we have on this planet comes from Mother Earth. So we need to become the, uh, the resourceful feminine beings that we're meant to be. Give me one second. I'll be right back, ladies. I'm going to, uh, it's getting really hot in here, so I'm going to have to cool this place down. One second. I'll be right back. I hope you guys are enjoying your Saturday, or, I'm sorry, your Sunday. It's Sunday today, right? Hold on. All right, ladies. It's getting pretty hot up in here. Hold on. I don't know why it's getting hot over here. You guys are gonna have to uh, forgive me. I just got finished cooking and it's really hot in my kitchen. So you're gonna have to forgive me. I'm sorry, what you do? Hold on. Sorry about that. You guys are going to have to forgive me. Sorry. Because it is hot in here. Hold on. Sorry about that, ladies. I love you, girls. I love you, sisters. Hold on. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I hope you ladies are enjoying your weekend. I hope you're enjoying your day, whatever day this video may reach you. We're on a journey in this life. We don't have forever here. And while we're here, I'm going to use my divine feminine energy as best I can. I want to see what those cards are. So I'm going to turn the camera down so you can look at the cards and not me. We're going to see what spirit has to say. So let's say a prayer and we're going to get started. Blessed Heavenly Father, Mother God, Master, thank you for this day. Thank you for my divine feminine sisters and mothers out there, the young sisters out there. Please, divine, give us some wisdom about what we need to do to alchemize this divine feminine energy. Cosmic Mother, I need your presence here. Ancestral divine feminine women of my ancestral bloodline. Those that have supported me that are ascended masters, feminine masters, come in and give guidance to us about the divine feminine energy we need to embody to become the masters of our feminine energy, to become a reflection of the divine mother, to become extensions of the cosmic mother universe, to become extensions of that abundant energy of mother earth and the ocean, which supplies us with life-giving energy, food, resources, power, and life. <laughs> the Empress. All right. Let's see what these cards are here. Heartbreak and lovers came out. Mmm. Looks like they're talking to us, huh? Some of us are still hurting. Because the love didn't work out. You thought it was the real deal, but it wasn't. Some of you are still hurting. We got to heal that heart, ladies. Hold on. I got to get some more of these because you need to look at those cards. I hope you ladies are doing okay. I love you sisters. I love you sister. All right, ladies. Let me get my little handy dandy cards here. I mean, uh, carousels, what do you call these? I forgot what you call them. Easels. My little mini easel so you guys can see them. Got Kuan Yin, Mother Kuan Yin. You're welcome here, Mother Kuan Yin. Mother Kuan Yin, come in and help us. Calling Mother Kuan Yin. It was in reverse. 
So we're going to talk about healing your heart, Divine Feminine. Let's get that heart healed. Uh, I used to drive for a... Uh, paratransit company before I got hurt. I transported people that were disabled. And uh, a man that I was taken to a dialysis center, he said to me, I was, I was actually going through heartbreak at the time, he said to me, I said, I don't know what to do. I love this guy, and he's a jerk, and da 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 and he won't change, and this man said, sweetheart, I want you to know something. I said, what? He said, don't you ever forget it. Okay? Nine of Wands. And, uh, is that Nine of Wands? The fool? That's uh, three, six, seven. Is it Eight of Wands? Eight of Wands. Yep. And the Fool in Reverse. So we need to move forward in our own passion. Anyway, the gentleman said to me, the gentleman said to me, uh, sweetheart, you can live without anything that you were not given at birth. I said, really? He said, yeah. He said, you can live without your kidney. One ki you can only you can live without with that with one kidney. I think he said something else. I forgot. Um, and uh, there was something else he said we could live without. I forgot what other organ. But uh, he said, don't ever say you can't live without a man. Don't ever say you can't live without a person in your life. He said, everything you were born with to live, you have inside of yourself. You got all the organs you need. You, got, you have energy. You have the ability to breathe. I mean, literally, like existing to get up every day, to live, to walk, to breathe, to talk. The divine supports you. The divine gives you life. The divine wakes you up. The divine gives you air to breathe. Gives your lungs the ability to expand, to breathe air in. Gives you the ability to eat, drink, you know, so you can have nourishment for your body. Gives your ability, gives your mind the ability to think. You don't need anyone but God, okay? I want you to know that. So I want you to say that with me. I do not need anyone but God, but I invite those that are for my highest good in my life, okay? I don't need anyone but God, but I invite those who are for my highest good in my life, okay? All right, this feels good, you guys. Thank you. Come on in, ancestor spirit guides, send masters. I feel their presence. All right. Woo, I can feel their presence in here. It's heavy in here, girl. It's heavy in here, girl. It's heavy in here, girl. Y'all gonna hear me act up because when I get with my sisters, I have fun, so. If you notice, <laughs> when I'm doing it for the collective or for the men, I'm more serious. But when, when I'm with my sisters, you know, girls just wanna have fun. Cindy Lopper. Spirit guides, ancestors, angels, the divine feminine. All right. You got the moon out. I'm going to lay these cards out this way. I don't know. I don't think you can see it, though. So, uh, can you guys even see that? The light in here is not that great. Let me turn this other light on. I need you guys to see this. Hold on. It's just getting hot in here. I really need you guys to see these cards. I don't know why the color in these cards suck, but the color, I'm sorry. You guys, I act a little bad when I'm with my sisters. I'm sorry. But I'm not sorry. It's still a public reading. I don't know. I just have fun when my sisters are in the house. So we got the moon here. We got justice in reverse. Law is not justice. I already know. If it, I know, ladies. I know. We got to help our divine masculines move into their d divine masculine energy. You see, Empress is in reverse. So we're, we're a lot of us are still bitter. Or maybe we feel like we've been taken down from our throne, but that's okay. You know, living is learning. Sometimes learning is losing. And then when you lose, you gain what you need. You lose what you don't need, and you, you gain what you need. Right? Sometimes we have to lose our ego. 
A lot of us, divine feminine, have to have an ego death. Cosmic ascended mothers, talk to me. All right. King of Swords. A lot of divine feminines need to embody the King of Swords and cut out the bull crap. Ancestral divine mothers, ascended master divine mothers, divine feminine ancestors, divine feminine ascended masters come in to the space. Give a divine guidance to the divine feminine. How can we embody our divine feminine power? How can we, can we connect to the divine mother universe? Ace of Wands. How can we heal ourselves? Looks like we have to heal ourselves. Talk to me. Talk to me. All right. Fighting. Hmm. Five of Wands. I don't know if we need to fight for what fight for our right. Maybe I have to put Bob Marley. Get up, stand up. Mmm, bottom of the deck. Look what we got here. Not a pretty picture, is it? Eight of swords, all tied up. What else, Divine Feminine Mothers? Show me. Talk to me, Divine Mothers. Knight of Wands. Got a lot of wands here. Ooh, a lot of passion. Are you fighting with your man, girl? You better stop that. You worried about the wand, child? Are you stuck on the wand, child? <laughs> I'm not trying to mess with you. You stuck on the wand? We all go through that, sweetheart. Don't worry about it. It happens. But I'm going to tell you something, baby girl. If you master that energy of the Mudlahara, the sexual region, you will be untouchable like Sister Toffee. I know it don't sound good, but it's a beautiful thing to master your sexual energy. I'm trying to tell you. All right, so look what we got here. Got Page of Swords in reverse. Looks like you should be speaking your truth, but you're not. You saving face for what? A dollar? Or because you're scared? If you're scared, you need to get away from them, okay? Let's take a look at what we got here. Hmm. Looks like you got some stuff that's going on in your life that you don't know about. You don't feel that it's fair. You're trying to hold on to what you have, but what is that? Is it really valuable? It's just a little page, right? You got a page, girl? You holding on to a page? You got a king here, but he's a king of swords. You need a man that's about the truth. King of swords cuts through the bull. He's a man of principle. He's a man of power. He doesn't deal with the bull crap. So you either need to cut out a page or you need to want more for yourself. Or what you think you have is not as good as you think. You either need to gain passion in your life to gain your own power back or either you're stuck on the wand. You stuck on the wand, girl? Well, that's that lower energy. You're going to have to master that. That's probably why you're in heartbreak. Or maybe you're coming out of that. Because there's a world card here. So it looks like you may have been attached to a divine masculine that was not so divine. Looks like it reflects my story. Yeah, this definitely reflects my story. All day. So I don't know if you, you ladies feel this way. So anyway, got out of the... Um, the drama dealing with uh, Paige, cut out the crap, right? Stop being uh, stuck on the wand and fought for your own passion, Knight of Wands, right? Or you're running into another man thinking that he's going to save you from this Page of Pentacles. Sex is not going to fix your situation, Divine Feminine. Divine is telling you it's time to move on into a new chapter. I hope you, got, you guys aren't mad at me. <laughs> I was here before, so I'm not judging you. Trust me. To a sword, you need to protect yourself. Okay? 
you need to start using your intuition when you're dealing with these men or masculine females. What do they really want? You need to protect yourself, right? You need to start to analyze people and get to know them better before you allow them to get so close to you, right? So this is the past cycle, looks like it, okay? This is where we're moving into now. Nine of Pentacles, self-love, right? The fool's jumping into self-love, okay? Right? So the adventure is to get here, to self-love and self-spiritual mastery where the bird is willing to sit on your arm and you've got all this vegetation in your garden and you're living the good life, right? You've got your purity, sorry, the white flower and the fool, the fool's hand, you cleared out the old cycle, okay, you have guidance from the dog who's white, which is pure guidance, right, truth from the divine, and you got the sun at your back, so the spirit, spirit has your back, the solar has your back, okay, the universe, okay, the master, Christ in energy, spirit of life has your back, okay, so that's where we're at, we're going to build on it, we're going to go with, uh, the, the um, we're going to start dark. I like to start dark. I love to dig deep. I love to dig deep. Now, ladies, I don't want you to please don't think I'm talking about you because I'm going to tell you something. I was the biggest matrix-minded fool that you will ever meet. Please don't feel that I'm talking about you or laughing at you. I'm laughing at myself, okay? I would never do that. If I was with you right now, I'd give you a big hug. And I hold you till you stop crying, okay? And then we go get some ice cream. I would not do that to you. You're my sister, okay? All right. I just joke a lot because joking helps to it, it helps to transmute the pain, okay? Please don't think please don't think that I'm talking about you because I'm not. I would never do that, okay? Let's get back to the reading. All right. So this is the uh, Heal Yourself deck by Yasmin, I'm sorry, what is her name? <laughs> Heal Yourself, Ina Sagal, Ina Sagal, thank you Ina Sagal. All right, didn't take long. Alchemy, card number 25, two and seven has to do with the imagination. It's time for you to believe in yourself and believe in the beauty and the magic inside of you, okay? that's uh, on the moon so you have hidden talents and gifts that you need to tap into patience is under justice um, let me go here let's see the moon suggests that you you have gifts that are hidden that you need to bring forth not only for the collective but for yourself so it's time for you to dig deep into yourself and get a journal and start writing down what your gifts are literally write down your skills and gifts and then figure out what it is you like what do you like to do that can be a service to others that will make you happy okay I don't care if you start small I don't care if you don't get a reward the reward will be spiritual it won't be monetary I don't care start with what you love you work if you do what you love you won't work a day in your life patience card number 23 that's karma so in understanding the old cycle and meditating like this beautiful woman here it's very important to continue to do self analysis and measure your progress of your inner spiritual alchemy your imagination your emotional positioning um, are you still angry are you still holding resentment? Um, can you gain a better positioning if you were to talk to or run into the person that hurt you? It's time to continue to work on that. What would you do? How would you be if that scenario came up? Because that's how the divine tests us. Emotional balance and emotional mastery is a, it's a divine feminine energy. Okay, it, it's, it's up under the moon energy. The moon represents... Our connection to emotions water the ocean and so this emotional energy needs to be mastered for you to go into your divine feminine energy it's not just about being beautiful 
aesthetically, okay? It's emotional mastery. So that's a part of leveling up and becoming the divine feminine, okay? Whether you're male or female. This is how you create good karma. And when you do that and the divine sees that you trust them to take care of what it is that you need and also deal with people that have wronged you and you let it go and forgive them and wish them better understanding of themselves and a stronger desire to become a better person. The divine will bring you justice and this justice card that's turned down will come up right in some kind of way or another. Your creator knows what you need and what you want so you don't have to figure that out. You just embody the energy they ask you to, to embody and they'll take care of the rest, okay? It'll be upright. Okay, so you bring in your own justice by changing, not being gullible, not being mentally uh, weak, not being emotionally codependent or in any, any other form. You become self-reliant, right? Doesn't mean you have to be f afraid to trust others. You just have to find mutually beneficial relationships, okay? Know your worth and the justice will come in for you, okay? So it's time to start working on yourself and really understanding your inner gifts. This is a lifetime process, you know. This is something you do. You journal. You, you really get into knowing you, wanting to know yourself. Family and tribe came out, card number 20. That's two. That has to do with divine wisdom. And so what is family now? Family has changed into something else because many families of the world... We've been uh, products of uh, the environment, and we now have created new families, new tribes, because a lot of us have a lot of pain in our uh, bloodlines, and we have to separate in order to heal. And then possibly if people do the alchemy in your family and you yourself, maybe you can come together. Maybe you won't. Okay? But there is a tribe for you to either create or to become a part of. So as you tap into your divine wisdom of knowing who you are, you will either attract that family or you can create that tribe, okay? And that's the value of knowing your worth. So once you get a real understanding of your own inner gifts and skills, you start using it for the good of the whole, of the collective, right? That's when you will start to attract what it is that resonates with your soul, the people that will be for your highest good, okay? Your soul tribe. So know your gifts, know your value, know what you have to offer, and you'll find your path to your soul tribe or they'll find you, okay? Thank you. I appreciate you, Divine Mothers. So far, so good. They're telling me, yeah, own your gifts. Be proud of your gifts. Enjoy your gifts. Share your gifts. Sadness came out in reverse, so many of you are still trying to heal. Okay, you already cut out this resonates with me. I hope this resonates with somebody else. It's like almost like I'm telling my whole story. Maybe a lot of us feminines, divine feminines, are going through the same thing. You cut out the crap and you're healing from sadness. Good job. Because you have divine wisdom now. You don't operate in what people tell you. You have your own wisdom, right? Your own truth. Awesome. You go, girl. All right. What about the Ace of Wands, Divine Mothers? Divine Mothers, Divine Feminine Mothers, Ascended Masters, Divine Feminine Ascended Masters, tell me about the Ace of Wands, help from above, it came in reverse, looks like you have to get passionate about your dreams and then you'll get the help you need, 789, you'll start to give birth once you ignite your passion for what it is that you want to do, okay? So the angels are waiting by your side, your ancestors, spirit guides, and the masters that you've been given. They're waiting for you to get your passion up so they can light this torch, okay? So that you can find your way through the darkness. So you need to get excited about your gift, whatever that may be. All right? The fool. Talk to me about the fool, mothers, sisters. Divine Feminine, talk to me about the Fool. Divine Feminine Masters. Divine Feminine Mothers, talk to me about the Fool. What do we need to do to embody the Fool energy? Divine Feminine Mothers. Divine Feminine. 
All right. They just want me to call Divine Feminine. Someone said, stop calling me old. Okay. <laughs> they said, don't call me old. All right. Beautiful Divine Feminines. How about that? Is that good? Okay. Dreams. Just like I said. They want you to fulfill, be fulfilled on your own. Okay. I think this is the year of the tiger. You can look that up. 2022. I believe it is. Look at that, what that is in Chinese uh, astrology. Maybe it'll give you more insight on what kind of energy you need to embody. But it's all about you fulfilling yourself. Stop seeing the men or the men as your prize. They're not. Your children are your prize and your own gifts within your spirit are your prize. Let men work. That's what they do. Or let your masculine work. Regardless to what kind of relationship you're in. If you're the divine feminine, you need to be looking inside yourself. Not at your partner. All right. Five of Wands. Talk to me about this Five of Wands. What are we fighting for? What are we fighting about? Beautiful Divine Feminines. What are we fighting for? Ancestral Beautiful Divine Feminines. What are we fighting for? What are we fighting about? Self-sabotage. In reverse. <laughs> this is inner conflict. And this is also Stephen and his beings trying to make you feel bad about yourself. Making you feel like you can't escape. Divine Feminine is saying fight your way out. If that's what you need to do. So whether it's self-sabotage, whether it's coming from in or outside, externally. You can be free. Okay? You just have to make a plan to find your way out. You can do it. Okay? There are laws in place. There are resources in place for you to be free. You don't have to sit here and be in toxic energy with a, 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 a non-divine masculine. Okay, you can be free. So don't self-sabotage. So they have it in reverse. So they're saying stop sabotaging yourself. Use your wisdom. Okay, card number two is the third eye. Use your divine wisdom to get out of the situation. Stop acting helpless. Not acting helpless. I'm not trying to say you're trying to be helpless. I'm trying to, not trying to be mean. I'm saying get mad enough to be your own mom and dad. And if you have to lose to win, lose. And get the hell out of there. You can build again. You can't get another you. You can get a house. You can get clothes. You can get anything. But you cannot get another you. If you're being abused in any way or you're being uh, coerced to, do, to, to think negatively or to feel bad about yourself or feel trapped, you don't have to do that. Reach out to somebody. Don't hide it. Share with a friend, a, fellow, a relative, a family member, somebody. Don't remain stuck in that situation if that's what you're dealing with. Have courage. It's under the Knight of Wands. That's three. Throat chakra, just like I said. Speak up. Okay? Speak up. Okay? Have the, have the will to free yourself. The world. Letting go. You see? They're right in sync. Thank you, Divine Feminine Mothers. Thank you, Divine Feminine, beautiful Divine Feminine. They said, don't call me no old lady. Okay, the world, okay? Thir okay, what is that? 26, 6, 7, 8. Your family can't help you. Um, they're telling me that some of you women have been going through things, 33, 33 on the clock. You, some of you women are going through things with, with men and you're not saying anything. You're not telling anyone you're being abused. No one can help you if you don't talk. Okay, so pack your social security number, your paperwork, your legal stuff, and get the hell out of there. You can get clothes. Get out if that's your situation. No materialism is worth staying with a toxic masculine, regardless to what type of relationship you're in. If you're in that paradigm, I don't know what to tell you, because we, we already passed that cycle. I don't know what to tell you. The divine feminine, feminine you know, that have been walking with divine for a while, we trust the divine. We know that they're going to deliver us. They're going to find a way to free us and provide for us. So, I don't know, sweetie. Two of Swords. Okay. Listening to your intuition. Pay attention to the signs. You've been getting downloads. You've been watching things that are red flags. You're not acknowledging it. Okay. Run the hell away if you're around abuse. Run away. A lot of divine feminines are fearful because they're around abusive, toxic masculines. 
and that's got to stop. Self love, protect yourself. Card number 24 is the will of God, four and two is six. Six is the will, Heru. It's the soul, it's the solar plexus. It's the sun, it's the light, it's the truth, it's the way. It's the universal center. So you center yourself through self-love. You protect yourself. That's how you begin self-love. It's through protecting yourself. Okay? Protect what you allow in your mind. Protect what you allow in your heart. And protect where you go. Watch, watch your step. Don't Every place you put your foot is not a safe place to be. Okay? Self-love. Okay? Watching what comes in your eyes eye holes, your ears, your eyes, your nose, <laughs> your senses, wherever you walk, what you think, say, do, what you experience, what you watch, what you visualize, what you entertain. All these things are portals that shape your conscious awareness. And so if you don't protect what you listen to, the places you go, the things you believe in, or the things that you make yourself value, and you allow anyone outside of yourself to make you believe something because they said it you've got a problem and you're going to go through more pain in your life self-love is protecting yourself and lying uh, relying on the divine within to guide you and to help you discover your own desires right that's the will of the divine okay this is how you have freedom you see how beautiful and free she looks like she's giving thanks right for her connection with the divine. She's so happy and so in love with self and God, right? In the universe. That's what they want for you. But you got to protect yourself from anybody or anything that is sucking your energy or taking your energy or causing you stress, causing you discomfort, anything. You got to get away from it. As simple as that. I don't care if it's, I don't care who it is. Uh, I don't believe in sticking with blood, family, or whoever by all means necessary. I don't believe in that. I believe if people are taking you down, no matter if they're your blood or not, you get the hell away from them as fast as you can and never look back. That's my personal opinion because some people are just sick, but they don't know it. And if you spend time trying to treat them like you're the doctor, you're going to be sick too. This is why many of us haven't achieved our goals. We've been around toxic people that have purposely been blocking our opportunities, right? deliberately trying to prevent us from having things in life because they're sick okay so as long as you stay around toxic people you are going to end up like this without see how the, the hand is dropping the coin in this position in this position the coin is being dropped into the hand she's receiving in this one the coin is being dropped to the ground okay so you can either lose or you can win. Which one you want? It's up to you. I don't know how this card came out. I don't know why I did that again. <laughs> wow, at the bottom we have Ace of Swords. Right? What I'm going to do is they told me to stack it on top. I've got one more Alice in Wonderland card. This is Alice in Wonderland. Oh, no, it's not. I'm sorry. One more uh, Enos Agal. All right, Divine Mothers. One more from Enos Agal. One more from Ina Segal. What do we have for Nine of Pentacles for self-fulfillment? Talk to me about self-fulfillment, Divine Feminines. Divine Feminines, talk to me about uh, self-fulfillment. Divine Feminines, talk to me about self-fulfillment. Divine Feminines, talk to me about self-fulfillment. What can we do to embody our self-fulfillment? What can we do to embody our self-fulfillment? One card. Okay. Two came out. <laughs> Pride. <laughs> wow. Card number seven. Yeah. That's like from death to life, right? Death and rebirth, right? Flourishment. It's like we were, when you're amongst the dead, I mean, the dead in consciousness, those that are not connected to the divine, that's what happens to you. You enter the world of death. So, divine wants you to enter the world of life. You see how beautiful and refreshed and youthful she looks? So, it's your choice. I set before you today life and death. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. If you say you can, you can. If you say you can't, you can't. If you, can't, you say you can't leave them, you can't. If you say you can, you can't. Okay? And it's all going to happen in your imagination. What do you believe? You're going to have to start examining your beliefs, Divine Feminine. On the bottom, we have healing. 
Yeah, throat chakra. Healing. Healing. All right. They want me to continue to use the rider weight, so we're going to continue to use the rider weight. Let's see, sorry. We're going to have to keep using the rider weight. Woo, nine of swords. Somebody's still in pain. Somebody did overkill, right? That's just ridiculous. People stabbing you in the back like that, right? That's under patience and justice. You will heal. Okay? Divine Feminine, you will heal in time. But it's going to take patience. All right? It's going to take patience. It's going to take patience. Family and tribe. Divine Feminines, tell me about family and tribe. King of Cups, you need a man that knows how to love or a divine masculine that knows how to love. Or you need to embody this energy yourself and know the value of your love and not just give your love to anybody, okay? Understand the value of your, your emotional worth and your love. And don't accept anything less than what you deserve, okay? But also, it says here, open your heart to love, okay? Don't be so quick to turn down love because you're heartbroken, okay? Don't be so quick to turn down love because you're heartbroken. All right? Look, divine could be uh, trying to set up love for you, but if your heart is closed, then you're not going to have the opportunity to find love or for love to find you. All right, spirit guide, sadness. Talk to me about four of cups in reverse. When the divine makes an offer of a divine masculine, take the offer and see what happens. Talk to me about help from above, divine feminine. Talk to me about help from above, divine feminine. Help from above. Be careful. Well, it looks like either the, the divine is going to be the one that gives to you. So don't worry about taking from others. Be careful of the king's treats, okay? The divine will provide for you. Trust in God and the divine, okay? Try not to be codependent on people if you can. Okay, the divine will provide for you. Dreams, talk to me about dreams for the divine feminine. Dreams, spirit guides, talk to me about dreams for the divine feminine. That's too much. Emperor. You can do it. Just because you're feminine doesn't mean you can't operate masculine energy. You can make your dreams come true. Thank you. All right. They're telling me to shuffle again. You guys enjoying yourselves? I hope you are. Are you enjoying yourself? Are you enjoying yourself? I hope you are. I'm enjoying myself. Uh, it feels like this spread is, spread is for me. So, if you resonate with this reading, let me know. This is just uh, spirit guides guiding us. I'm not guiding this message. I have my, my uh, two cents that I put in in the first part, part one. We'll see uh, what spirit guides are giving us. This is all spirit guides. When I use these cards, none of this is me. Okay? Like any other reader on this channeling. I have nothing to do with the messages that come out, okay? Just want you guys to know that so you don't think that I'm manipulating the situation. I need you to know that. All right, ancestor spirit guides, ascended masters. They're telling me that uh, the divine masculines can guide us too. So divine masculine in the ancestral realm. You're welcome to provide guidance because they're like father God. They want the best. We're like their daughters. They're not the toxic masculine, okay, ladies? These are like the ascended masters. They're not, they're the father types. They're not, they want to protect us. So ancestor spirit guides of divine law, will, and order. Those that came with me, my first birth, second birth, third birth. Continue to give the divine feminine messages for our highest good. Please help us, guide us. Help us protect ourselves, strengthen ourselves and become who we were meant to be. I 
One more shuffle. All right. Talk to me about self-sabotage in reverse. Talk to me about self-sabotage in reverse. Let you guys look at these cards. Talk to me about self-sabotage in reverse. How are we self-sabotaging ourselves? How can we prevent self-sabotage? Ancestor, spirit, God, ascended masters. How can we prevent? Woo. Stop crying over spilled milk. <laughs> there it is. Worrying and worrying and worrying and worrying. No more worrying. What else? Talk to me about courage. Queen of Pentacles. Know your value. Know your worth. It's under the Knight of Wands. Okay. Empress in reverse. You can become the Empress too. But it has to do with inner alchemy as opposed to material goods. Okay. So in order to get become the Empress, you have to work on your own worth. And once you nurture and love yourself and provide for yourself and become your own divine masculine, your own provider, the empress will turn up right, okay? But until then, you'll be the empress in reverse, okay? Because the empress is self-sustained. She doesn't necessarily need an emperor to be the empress, okay? She's self-sustained. She attracts an emperor. She doesn't need an emperor to be the empress. Page of Cups letting go. New, this is a... Uh, If somebody in the past offers you something, let go. If someone new comes in, let them in. Okay? All right? Looks like she walked through that portal there, and now she's coming into a new realm, and she's got an offer. Right? Even though it's a page, it's okay. They can be her friend. He doesn't have to be the one that she's falling in love with. He can be her friend. Just make sure he's not some kind of horn dog or weirdo, okay? The feminine energies are going to be raw and uncut. The feminine videos are going to be raw and uncut because I'm in my feminine energy. I'm a woman, and we talk like we talk. So, I don't know. Divine masculines are probably going to watch this, but it is what it is. You get the raw and uncut cut toffee when you see the divine feminine uh, videos. All right? Talk to me about pay attention to the signs, please, under Two of Swords. Okay, stop crying over those spilled cups. That was real simple. They're just saying, get over the old cycle. What else, family? Talk to me. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Under self-love. Same thing is being said. We got to get over the past. It's all about this heartbreak, you see? The heartbreak is what's holding everything up. All right, talk to me about the ten. I'm sorry, <laughs> pride. Woo! Look, somebody stole from us. It is what it is. We got to get over it. Period. They stole from us. They did. Okay, it happened. It happened. It happened. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you it didn't happen. It did. It did happen. Right? It is what it is. All right. It is what it is. It happened. Now we're going to find out a little further. About how we can deal with these energies. This is the Alice in Wonderland deck. So we're going to ask Spirit to show us what we need to know about how we can alchemize this energy. Spirit guys, ancestors, ascended masters, give me one card. Belong to your own dream. That came out the divine masculines. It's crazy. That's under the moon. Create your own life. Three and two makes five. It's about karma. Next, keeping up. This also came out the divine masculine. Forty, immense effort, advance. This is under patience and justice. Okay, we have to have patience. Don't try to keep up with the Joneses. 
This came out too. Wow, this is matching the Divine Masculine. 42, Mortality. This is under uh, the original card of... Um, what was that? Page of Pentacles. Mortality. Know your value because the only thing you're going to take with you is your own soul. You need to know your value. Life is brief, bright, beautiful, and yours to live. So you got to know your value in this life. You can't keep looking outside of yourself for substance and sustenance, okay? You need to be happy within self. And that's what the divine is trying to get us all to, being happy within ourselves. That way we can have healthier relationships. See, when you deal with somebody that has a lack mentality or doesn't love themselves, they give to you out of their lack, and they become needy and codependent. So we need to become whole within ourselves so that we can have healthy relationships. Be benefits to one another and not burdens. Keep your temper. Don't allow anger to rule you. Card number 20. So a lot of you feminines out there, you know, you're going through some stuff that's not cool. But, you know, and sometimes you get offers and you get mad about it. You're like, no, I don't want it. I resonate with that. <laughs> it's time to stop all that. Stop being a brat. Time to stop being a brat. All must have prizes. Trying to please everyone. This is the toxic feminine energy. A lot of times as mothers, they teach us that we're supposed to sacrifice ourselves. The men are the ones supposed to sacrifice themselves for the family. The divine feminine is supposed to nurture, love, and teach. And guide. Okay? And that includes you. Taking care of yourself and your children. And that doesn't have to be in the form of energy or physical service or cooking or cleaning. You can give them advice once they become a certain age. As little children, yes, you have to do what you have to do as a mother. But once they become a certain age, they need to learn to be self-sufficient. And if you don't teach your children how to be self-sufficient, they'll be codependent on you. That's a toxic parenting. That's toxic parenting. One, a th a one in three is four. That's balance. That's my aunt. That's the heart chakra. The divine does not want you making your children codependent on you. So those women out there or males that are that are using your children as an scapegoat to not deal with your own spirit, you're not doing what the divine wants you to do. You're supposed to teach your children how to get ready for the world and be independent spirits because that's what they are. We only get to have them for a moment. We're, everything here is borrowed, even our own lives. Wake up. It's your moment. Divine feminine, this is a time where the divine masculine is waiting for us to come forward, but not in our toxic form. Not in as Atlanta's housewives, not as, you know, sh dropping it like it's hot or twerking and all this other stuff. That's not the divine feminine, okay? It's not. It's fun. It's funny, you know. I mean, it's somewhat tolerable with kids, but it's definitely not a good look as you get older. And I'm not judging anyone because I was like one of the worst toxic feminines you could ever meet. Okay? I was horrible. But it wasn't because I wanted to be. It was because environment can shape you into that. So take some time to analyze what has taught you what you believe is the truth. And start to think about what you want to be treated like when you become an older woman. One of the best ways to shape yourself as a woman is to start to think about what you want to be treated like as an older woman. And when you, when you think about that, that will help you to start making the moves to get you in the place to doing the things that will make you that woman that is respected the way you want to be respected. Okay? So that has to do with your imagination. Who do you want to become? That's masculine energy. That's this emperor. Oops. That's the emperor energy that you're going to have to embody. Wake up. It's your moment. A lot of you divine feminines, feminines have a lot of wisdom that you can share. But you're, you're so caught up in your ego that you don't want to give unless you make a profit or, you know, you're just as capitalistic as the men. And divine feminine, feminine energy is not all about that, you know. God doesn't tell us pay for, uh, hey, you need to pay for the air I gave you to breathe this morning. Divine, uh, divine didn't say that. Father, Mother, God did not say that. They let us breathe freely. We get everything we need without asking. They don't ask us for anything. Everything we have here that we sell and buy, it all belongs to the divine. <laughs> None of us, we only, we're only here temporarily, so. You know, I'm just saying for your own soul's alchemy, if you're concerned about your eternal life and you're concerned about self-mastery and you're concerned, uh, concerned about iniquity, 
Because what you don't master in this life goes to your children. You do know that. It's called iniquity. If you don't do the spiritual mastery, it's going to your kids. Your kids are going to be the one to have to deal with your burden because you didn't want to do the spiritual work. What about the Nine of Swords? Come on, family. Divine Feminines. Okay. They gave me a whole slew of them. Nonsense. It's time to, t to talk sense. Women, ladies, mothers, it's time for us to step up to the plate and be the divine feminine mothers we are. A lot of you are standing back, holding back, and not walking in your authority. Stop being afraid and step up to the plate, okay? Because you're letting the clown run the show. You got more sense than the clown, right? And you're over here like, I don't know what to do. You're the queen. You got the queen card. Come on, right? Don't let this joker run the show. He's a joke. Look what he's wearing, a doily around his neck. Are you serious? You want that kind of, you call that divine masculinity? No. That's toxic, foolish masculinity. Look at him, he looks like he's mad. Who wants that? <laughs> he's confused. He needs to sit down somewhere or go to a therapist. Or is that even a woman? Okay, I'm sorry, that was a woman. Okay, I'm just saying, look, she looks so pissed off. The woman looks so mad. She looks like a man. You see, this is what I'm talking about. Toxic masculinity can be in a, ma in a female. You see this? This is a toxic mother. You see this? Nonsense. It's time to talk sense. Some mothers are toxic. I mean, this is some cold stuff we're dealing with, family. Ladies, you some of you have toxic mothers. And you're going to have to get away from her because she needs help. You can't allow her to keep using you as narcissistic supply because she's all messed up in her brain. Okay? You can love her from afar and move on. Because she doesn't understand she's destroying you and her bloodline. And if she, does, if she does understand, that means she has an entity attachment. And you really need to get away from her, okay? You deserve a good life. Get away from that crap. All right. All in the golden afternoon. Inspiration. Create a spark, imagination, conception. The Empress. Queen of Pentacles. Courage. And you got the Knight of Wands underneath that. This is a lot. You got all that you need. You got all that you need. You got all that you need. You can do this. You can't become the Empress. You just need courage. Okay, and this says all in the golden afternoon, meaning take your time to create. Believe in yourself and take your time to create. It's not going to happen overnight, but you have what it takes. Okay, you have what it takes. Becoming braver, resilience, experience, growing stronger, fresh perspective. Okay, you're starting to learn what is good for you and what is not. Okay, you know what to receive and what not to, right? Right? Letting, get in the, letting go of the old toxic behaviors of yourself and others, right? You're becoming braver, you're letting go. Touche, encore. You got this. Keep moving forward, the divine will support you. All right, family, I love you. Thank you so much. Talk to me about the uh, spilled cups, five of cups in reverse. How can we continue to not cry over spilled milk? Talk to me about that. One card, please. Thank you. Lead the way. Be a leader. Show others how it's done. You can help others. So stop being sad. Pay attention to the signs the divine is giving you and start to follow your intuition, okay? Stop crying over spilled milk and just get creative. It's so crazy, this reading is like it's for me. <laughs> this is so crazy. I hope somebody resonates with this reading because I so resonate with it, I'm so serious. Trust me, you guys, I am not just a teacher. I'm experiencing this transformation just like you. What else do you have for the Ten of Pentacles? How can we get the Ten of Pentacles up right? Thank you clock, time, pressure, in a rush. 
impossible things, working through disbelief, imaginate, uh, imaginative leap, fresh perspective. I'm going to take this one too. Shine bright like a candle. You will make it through this. All right. So this is about self-love, self-worth. You're going to have to continue to protect yourself. And you will get to the place of abundance. This is just self-abundance. Ten of Pentacles is just self-abundance. Okay? So, oh my goodness. This is really not showing all the cards. Uh, let's just do them one at a time. This one says clock, time, pressure, in a rush, slow down, smell the roses, let go of the anger, enjoy nature for a minute. Impossible things. Oh, and that's a five, so... That's karma. That's about you just getting balanced so you don't create any negative karma through negative emotions, okay? Impossible things, working through disbelief, imagination, imaginative leaps, fresh perspective. That's all about creation. Spend time in nature and come up with something that will make you happy and that can help others. Shine bright like a candle. You can, uh, you will make it through this. Just continue to move into the light and try to find joy in every day and every moment. Be happy. Look and search for happiness, okay? Like you're looking for gold. Self-love, okay, is all the will for, the, for you and the divine. They want you to love yourself. It starts with protecting yourself. Once you protect yourself and learn how to love yourself, okay, you can start to bring these Ten of Pentacles in. All right. All right, now talk to me about the Seven of Swords. Wow, that came out quick. Believe. Strange encounters. Okay. So someone stole from you, right? You feel like they took your pride away, right? But don't worry. Have faith. That you will create the life that you want. That you will be happy. Okay? That things will come into balance. And that love will find you at the strangest time. In the strangest place. So have faith. Alright? I'm thinking about closing this one out. Because it's so long. What do you guys think? It's, too, it's really long, right? I think it's really, really long. I'm not quite sure what else to do, Divine Feminine. I really don't know what else I can uh, show you guys. This looks like it's pretty to the point. It's just simple guidance, helping you to continue healing. Right? And it's going to start with you speaking your truth. If you're remaining quiet and not speaking your truth and you're hurting, and this has nothing to do with, this is not just the body embodiment of feminine energy. I mean, uh, the physical feminine woman. I'm talking about the feminine energy, which is hidden emotions, um, secret thoughts, hidden desires. Uh, things you think when no one's around all that is feminine energy it has to do with the emotional body so men this can reply to you too this has to do with healing healing is a feminine aspect we go beneath the surface and do spiritual surgery and we gotta heal you know a lot of us are trying to move forward in pain it's not gonna work so in this new cycle it's time for you to protect yourself you're going to need to protect yourself so you can not go through this again. Right? You're going to have to use your intuition moving into this new cycle. Because devil energies lurk around. Right? Devil energies are lurking around. Okay? So you need to heal. Don't worry about laying down with nobody but spirit. If you're hurting. 
Okay, and if you're in a relationship where someone's hurting you, you need to get away. And if you can't get away, then stop having sex with the person till you can get a person that's willing to admit to their faults and make a change or you can just figure out how to move on, okay? But this love that you had in the past, it didn't work out. So you need to understand you have to move on. So that's what I have for you. Um, I think I might come back and do another video. I don't know what I just feel like doing one not quite sure what on but I hope this helped you divine feminine okay um I don't know what else I could do I, something is telling me to do another reading for you but I don't know specifically on what hmm not quite sure alright hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next video if you'd like to find out when I'm uploading again press that little bell and then you'll see all once you select all you'll be notified of my next video and if you like the video if it doesn't hurt you you can put a thumbs up on there press that little thumbs up I'd appreciate it um, and if you like this content subscribe and share it with somebody that you think might benefit from it okay so I'll see you guys and um, I may upload again later on today I'm not quite sure maybe I'll do uh, one more for June I'm sorry to say June July okay so ladies enjoy yourselves enjoy your uh, new paradigm your new opportunity to love yourself and get to know yourself and accept yourself just as you are okay it's fine it's, it's time to find true self-love okay true self-love not a show and not no more circuses okay all right i love you sisters all right you're awesome all right take care queens goddesses beloved divine feminines okay all right love you sisters i'll see you guys in uh the next video all right ciao bella